Not only was there hundreds of weathered patient records left, but also old Polaroid photos of former patients' teeth, some of them showing off their new smiles. On top of that, there were also numerous old prescription pads that had been pre-written for Vicodin. Obviously, this was from a different time, much before the current opioid epidemic. Overall, this abandoned dental clinic was one of the very best that we have ever seen and explored. It's not every day that we get to document a place like this. See, the office has a fireplace, but it's trashed. And then this is the main lobby area here. A bunch of Colgate advertisements from back in the day, too. Look at that. Bench is still here. Gum health, healthier appearances, children's care, free booklets. And then they've got magazines still in the lobby area, paintings and stuff, but it's all filled with junk. So, and then this is the counter where you would check in. We'll check that next. So here's the actual office. This abandoned dental clinic dates back to when it first opened its doors in 1979. The dentist that owned and operated this dental clinic had just left a thriving dental clinic that he had established with a partner back in the northern United States. So in 1979, he returned back to his hometown down in the south as he wanted to give back to his beloved community by providing 24-7 dental care and also to take care of his elderly father who had also fallen ill around the same time. An interesting fact is that prior to him opening this dental clinic, his dental education was largely paid for by a program to assist in separate but equal education to African-American students, in which he took full advantage of and even completed his postdoctoral education in orthodontics. The dental clinic was an immediate success for the dentist as he was said to go above and beyond the call of duty when it came to treating his patients. He offered gentle dentistry and oral surgery services to the community and even offered the area's first 24-7 emergency dental clinic. This dude, what's up with him? Look at these pads too. Prescription pads all filled out. About to go take that up to the uh, pharmacy. <laughs> and let's look at this. It's crazy because it's all pre-written back before the opiate epidemic. He operated his dental practice for nearly 27 years before he finally retired. In 2005, the dentist announced his retirement and closed the doors of his prized business. It has sat abandoned ever since. And then over here, you have some people's patients' records. Tooth clock. I mean, just so many records. Look at this. Just tons of patient records. Just chilling in here, just rotting away. And then over here you have the actual patient's records open with charts and write-ups and actual x-rays. Pretty cool though. And this work that was done, 1997. Adjustments made, fillings needed. Partial number nine impression. Cool stuff. See even more files over here. Look at the decay in here. More gum samples and stuff. <laughs> Super cool. even collapsed a bunch of nitrous and oxygen tanks 
Gotta love the nitrous, too. And then, like, just, you can see it's just a mess. But anyways, let me show you where you start right here. Gotta be careful, so that's where I walk. I'm about to fall through. See, there's like holes everywhere you go. This was like a denture lab here. Look at all the dentures. And tools. People's names still on them. Some like metal filling in there. Plastic, more metal, another name. People's stuff just still in here. There's more right here, see? Jesus. Old moldings there. And then up here in the shelving area, it's just loaded with more teeth. Just never see teeth moldings like this very often. Pretty cool to see it. This dude's got like rat teeth. Rat man. Old calendar, 2003. This is super cool. Look at these tools. Especially that needle, lidocaine needle thing. Picks. Look at that. There's more over here. Look at those picks. Pretty sweet. Some of it's like brand new, even in packaging. A little mirror, dental mirror. Some cement in there. Jeez. This place is just loaded with stuff. Repair resin. Let's go take a look at some of the rooms. Record in case I fall through here. This one's uh, collapsed. See the dental chair there? It's all collapsed in. X-ray over there. And it's all collapsed. Look at that. That's how these floors are in here. Over here though, you got a cool room. Some equipment and supplies left behind. Pretty darn cool there. Light. Pretty cool. Old school chair, decayed. Little stool for the dentist. And some of it even still has plastic around the cords and stuff. Very cool spot. Look at all this decay in here. And the equipment is so retro and vintage. And here we even have more moldings. People's actual teeth here, moldings of their teeth. <sighs> Little water pick there. Over here, there's a phone and some supplies, zinc oxide, and some shaders, colors, I guess, for the teeth to match the color. Pretty cool. Lower tab. Mm. 
teeth and jaw. Lower tamps, that's so old school. here look at this mouthwash lidocaine some needles and stuff more dental equipment this was all labeled at one time you see all the labels cotton and sculptures and composites droppers alcohol preps molar by cuspid look at that and this is actually old lidocaine and there's a bunch of it in there. That's wild, isn't it? No. <laughs> Poly grip stuff there. shelving unit with all the supplies in here it's pretty cool blood pressure machine thing now I'll go one more pan over here I guess show you guys the spider webs and stuff place is so old this chair is on chill back mode even this little thing here pretty cool hopefully I don't die getting over to this other room here just bear with me a little shaky at least if I die I got it on video no it's not that far of a drop if it collapses fall right on the nitrous tanks Lots of decay. You can see the ceiling's actually collapsing right up there. Like some sort of machine here. A oh, vital sign monitor. There's the decayed chair. Another sweet looking chair, different colors. There's some more tools in the water pick and the actual picks and scrapers. Some dental floss and some cotton and tongue depressors. I don't know what that other stuff is. But look at all the supplies left. The teeth of cobwebs and bugs and stuff. Dental stool. A little wheelchair over there. An IV thing. Now I gotta cross over here. Oh boy. This is a bitch. <sighs> Nearly died last time. I better pause this thing. 
that. Ugh. Okay. This one, this this one over here is is cool. Weird, like prints going up the wall. Look at that. So weird. Going all the way up. Anyways, this one's cool. It's nothing that special. It's a cool old like bluish green color and the orange stool and pictures on the wall. All sorts of decay in there. Another one of the lights. Got some more tools, water pick again. Another tool there. Black mold. Dry dent advantage with some samples still in there. This floor is so sketchy. From there, in that room, the wheelchair and the collapsed floor I had to cross all that stuff. Now we're making our way into another room over here on this side toward the front. This room is pretty cool. We have the old x ray machine. Aquaish blue, more lower tab posters, aspirator there, still there, it's like a pressure machine there, and then the red chair, love how they always have like different colored chairs and stuff in these dental offices, look at that red, with the baby blue aqua stuff. Another dental light there, some tongue depressors and x-ray things that you put in your mouth. I remember those back in the day. Put it in your mouth for the x-rays. Tongue depressors. Impression trays. Huh, cool. Alcohol swabs. school x-ray look at this as a cool view from here another dental chair on chill mode if we go this way Here's an actual x-ray machine. Kilovolts. Amps. Love the color. Super cool. This thing is so old though, look at this. Get that decay on top of the x-ray thing and the mouth guard thing. Super unique. I've only seen one other one like that. And I want to say it was the same color. And then next to it, you have another dental room with a navy blue chair periodontal disease poster on the wall that's cool this old uh, x-ray thing there with a the monitor another light look at this super old and then it's even got the uh, tool on the chair over here, of course, you got the lower tab thing. Super cool. More um, lidocaine, gauze, and, uh, well, it says bandages, but those are tongue depressors. Look at that 
K on that chair too. Super, super cool and unique. Well, that's gonna do it for the abandoned dental clinic. But this one was a great spot. Good explore, lots of stuff left. Super old school, retro, that's always a bonus. And uh, oh yeah, don't forget, please subscribe to Abandoned Central to get all of our latest videos. And thank you guys so much for all your support.